Hey everyone, welcome back to Mediterranean. I'm Matt. Today, me and Adam are out for an overnight backpacking trip, headed out to Packwood Lake. I think it's like a four and a half or five and a half oh, mile hike, where we'll set up by the lake tonight. Should be a good trip. Probably a little rainy, a little cold, but it's gonna be a good time. We're about, I don't know, a little over an hour, 15 minutes in. Pretty nice hike so far. Nice gradual climb. I think we've gone up 1,300 feet. I have to check, I'm probably wrong on that. Anyway, now we're dropping back down. I think we're getting fairly close to the lake. Probably have another, probably 40 minutes to get there. Nice, nice trail so far, other than people leaving toilet paper along the trail. Don't understand that. Come all the way here to enjoy nature and then you foul it up. Pretty gross. But that aside, good hike so far. After a nice hour and 45 minute hike, I think we found a good spot for the night. It's right by a stream, feeding into the lake. Adam's gonna set up over here in his tent. And I'm gonna set up right over here. So let's get camp made. set up my hammock. We've got a nice view of the lake in front of me. Yeah, beat that view. Really nice. Let's go check out Adam's setup. Nice, looks like you got a bear canister. Oh, this River Country Products ultralight backpacking tent. Add on, pretty nice setup. Pretty nice spot for the night. I ran off and left my trekking pole, which means no porch mode for this trip. That's okay. I'm supposed to get a fair amount of rain from my understand, so I've got the one wind underquilt protector on, my hammock gear uh, underquilt. Got it set up a little low in case it does rain hard. We've got some good cover above us with these trees, so it should be good. Worst case, I just deployed the doors. Be a nice cozy night of sleep.
think I've ever had this one. Amazon has a sale. It's like a box of six of these. Like super cheap. It's not my favorite. Chicken and dumplings, but that good of a deal, I had to try it. Let's see how it goes. It's probably stupid hot. Yep. It's alright. Yeah, it reminds me of like someone had made chili mac at a church potluck in 1988 kind of flavor. Needs salt. Needs a little spice. I forgot to bring hot sauce on this trip. But it's not bad. <clears throat> not great. Not bad. Chicken and dumplings is still the clear winner out of the mountain house meals. I want to try some of the other ones like peak, but man, they're expensive. I need to get back to start making my own, my own dehydrated meals or using some of those like Nor packets. It's a lot cheaper. That's not so bad. Yeah, I think with some some salt, which is surprising for a mountain house meal. And some hot sauce. This wouldn't be too bad. Alright. Dig in. Alright. So Adam picked these up for how much were they? Like six bucks or something? Like, yeah, something. And I've had that even more so so i've had ready wise once before and it was awful they're alfredo it tastes like cat food so i'm gonna try this it smells a lot better than the alfredo it's not it's yeah it's a lot better than the alfredo what do you think It was like a weird thing in the back. Like up front it's good. And it's not bad. It was just something weird in the in the finish. For all you vegan backpackers out there. Yeah. I think all their stuff is vegan, isn't it? Or vegetarian at least. I don't think so, but I think I'll, they do have a, a pretty good amount of those options. Yeah. Right along some this banana bread our friend Lindsay made for us and brought from Oklahoma. It's freaking delicious. The wind's picking up and it's gonna be chilly tonight. I don't have to shut the doors on the tarp. Slept pretty great last night. Wind kicked up a little earlier this morning, but I was able to sleep in pretty late. It's misty and rainy right now, so we're gonna make a decision here in a bit if we're gonna stay another night or go somewhere else or just call it a call it a trip. But right now I'm about to have my breakfast. I'm trying out some s'mores oatmeal, nice healthy start to the day, and some coffee. Sit here and enjoy it in the rain. We moved to the hammock to have my breakfast. I don't know. Either way, it's a nice cool but not too cool morning. lazy morning sitting around the campsite having breakfast hanging out with Adam we uh stayed up way later than we thought we would we stayed up to like 11 30 because the skies cleared up had nice views of the stars so we stayed up stared at the stars solved all the world's problems got to bed probably around 11 30. like I said slept pretty great last night but uh I think because of the rain we may pack up here and maybe move to a uh, dispersed site or just call it quits we're going to decide here in a little bit uh Check back in a little bit once we decide what we're doing. My rain continues. 
is, so we've gone ahead and broken camp, and it's time to start the hike out of here. After deliberating over a beer in the rain, knowing that even more rain was on its way, Adam and I decided to go ahead and call it. We had a great adventure even though it was one night, and looking forward to more adventures to come in the coming weeks. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I want to thank my Patreon supporters as always, Mark H and Pete A. You guys are freaking awesome. If you too would like to become a Patreon supporter, there's a link below. But in the meantime, until the next adventure, stay awesome.